This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. A day of thanksgiving would naturally pay tribute to heroic men and women of the civil defense services. Never before this war have nearly all civilians been so much in the front line. That's why they carry banners with the names of cities that have endured the hell of bombardment and come through battered but proud. If we felt proud of our lovely land in days of peace, how much more so now that it bears such honorable scars? Pay tribute to it and to the civil defense personnel who worked under reigning death and proved that Britain could take it. This day was also chosen for the ringing of church bells for the first time for more than two years. Sign of the times, a lady bell ringer. And a pair of clamps for the feet in case the bell ringer becomes airborne. Some may feel that those bells were tempting providence once again, but no one in these islands has any longer any foolish hopes of easy conquest. So there's no reason why we shouldn't get a little peal of joy after three such somber years.